Alcatraz. Once a feared and impenetrable prison now stands as a memorial to the past. Its history begins during the Civil War, when prisoners were initially housed on the island in the middle of San Francisco Bay. But it wasn't until 1934, during a period of rampant crime and fear, that Alcatraz was fortified and became the world's most secure prison. The island was surrounded by cold, rough waters that were constantly whipped by the Pacific Ocean's harsh winds. The air was salty, and the sky was a permanent shade of gray, creating a gloomy atmosphere. The new design included stronger iron bars, strategically placed guard towers, and strict rules that required a dozen prisoner checks per day. The prison appeared to be impenetrable, and escape seemed impossible. Despite this, 36 men attempted to escape from Alcatraz 14 times between 1934 and 1963. Almost all of them were apprehended or died during the attempt. But the fate of three men is still unknown, shrouding the prison in an eerie sense of mystery. Some of the most notorious and dangerous criminals of the time were housed on Alcatraz, including Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, and the infamous Birdman of Alcatraz. The inmates were frequently confined to their cells for 23 hours a day, with only an hour of exercise in a small yard, with concrete walls rising high above their heads, and the sound of waves crashing against the rocky shore to tantalize their ears. Alcatraz's isolation made it an expensive prison to run, and its closure was looming even before the three inmates went missing. The prison's restoration and maintenance work cost an estimated three to five million dollars, not including daily operational costs. Alcatraz had the highest per capita cost of any federal prison, with everything from food and supplies to water and fuel having to be brought in by boat. The island was essentially abandoned after Alcatraz closed in 1963. Many ideas for its use were floated around, including a United Nations monument a West Coast version of the Statue of Liberty, and a shopping mall hotel complex. In 1969, a group of Native American Indians claimed Alcatraz as their own land, hoping to establish a cultural and educational center on the island. Civil disobedience was used by the Indians of all tribes to draw attention to the difficulties that Native Americans faced. Thousands of people from all walks of life came to the island to support the cause, over a period of 18 months, including school children, celebrities, hippies, Vietnam War veteran protesters, and the infamous Hells Angels. However, the Native American leadership group was small, and they were unable to control the situation, resulting in extensive damage to the island. Graffiti, vandalism, and a fire destroyed the lighthouse keeper's home, the warden's home, and the officer's club. Federal marshals eventually removed the remaining Native Americans from the island June of 1971. Today, Alcatraz is part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, and it's one of the most popular National Park Service destinations, attracting over a million visitors each year from all over the world. The island's eerie history and the mystery that surrounds it fascinate and captivate visitors. These are Interesting Things with J.C.